Hi, in this video we're going to look at the new guided upright tool in Adobe Lightroom. Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to First Man Photography, the channel that will help you take your photography to the next level. In the video we're going to be using Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop, so if you haven't got them yet, head down to the description below and I'll put a link up for you to get a free trial. Okay, let's get into this. So Adobe Lightroom received an update this week that was available to Adobe Creative Cloud members. And they introduced a new tool called the Guided Upright, which can be used to correct perspective in your photographs. And it's quickly become one of my new favorite tools. We're going to use the Guided Upright tool to make changes to two images. One where it's a very subtle change that really improves the image. And then a second image where it's really drastic emergency recovery to that image. This should really give you a good idea of how you can use the Guided Upright tool and apply it to your own work. Okay, let's get into the computer. Okay, so we go straight into Lightroom and this is the first image that we're going to be using. I've shot this specifically for this tutorial and it's a really poor image. So this is really a method that you would just use for rescuing things in an emergency situation. So this image would look much better if my lines were straight and were sort of square onto that window because at the moment it's a terrible perspective. So this will give you an idea of really what this uh, guided upright tool can do. The first thing you want to do is make sure you're in the develop module, which we are, if you're not, just click D on your keyboard to go into the develop module. Then scroll down and we want to first remove chromatic aberration and enable the lens corrections because it just seems to give better results when you're using the guided upright tool. So once that's done, come down to the transform palette here. You can just, if you can't see it, just unwind the arrow to reveal that palette. And then click on guided, and we're just then going to draw four guides onto our image. Two for the vertical and two for the horizontal. So the first one I'm going to do along the edge of this brick here, using the little uh, pop-up loop that appears just to get that accuracy. So draw that down, that's the first one. And I'm going to do a second one on the edge of this window here like that and once I've done that I can then do two horizontal areas so you can see you've got different uh, perspective errors here you've got this one here so I'm going to do one there across like that and it straightens it up a little bit and then I've got the window still here which I want to have square on it's a different angle so I'm going to draw it along the window there and when I release this it's amazing what happens so I mean, that's incredible that we've gone from that really terrible perspective to this new image here. We do have this white space that's introduced because that wasn't present. The way it's warped, the way that Lightroom has warped and distorted the image has left this white space, but we're gonna solve that using Photoshop after we've edited the next photo. So the second image is a slightly more subtle uh, change and it's already a pretty decent image, but when I shot this, I wasn't particularly happy with the perspective you get that I got with this uh, pumping station in this reservoir. The reason this happens is because when we're shooting with extreme wide angle lenses, which I was in this case, I'm at 20 millimeters here. It introduces distortion because of the way physics works, the way light enters that wide angle lens, it distorts things. Uh, and that's unavoidable unless you're using a tilt shift lens and utilizing that shift part of that lens but they can get expensive so post-processing is really our only option in this case uh, and this tool does do a good job of doing what a shift lens can do so again we're just going to come down to the upright panel and make sure that we have our chromatic aberration and profile corrections done and then click guided and I'm just going to draw a guide down the edge of the pump station here one there and then sort of looking at the edge of this one here, draw one down there. And that's a nice subtle change. And let's just see what it's like. I think I'm actually happy with that. I'm not sure whether I'll need a horizontal line. Let's just draw that in there. No, you see that's already wrong because I'm already nice and straight along the horizontal. So I'm just gonna delete that and leave the vertical line in because that's where it's caused me a problem. Now. You can then just click on done to save those changes and we still again have this white space. So we're going to correct that by using the content aware fill in Photoshop. So just right click on your image and then go to edit in and go to Photoshop at the top. 
It just takes a minute to load into Photoshop and then just open a copy with Lightroom adjustments and then Photoshop opens our image. So very quickly, we can be non-destructive, copy your background layer if you want to, but I'm not gonna in this case, I'm just gonna show you straight in is to select the magic wand tool up here that might be on the quick selection tool sometimes, which you can also use to make your selection. But in this in this case, I don't need to. I can use the magic wand tool and then just select this first area. Then you want to go to edit and then fill and make sure content aware. It'll usually be on foreground and background color to start with. Just go down to content aware and then click OK and the magic happens. Deselect that by command D or control D on a Mac or PC, PC and then select the second area with our magic wand tool and then same again go to edit fill content aware is already selected so click OK and it will put the second area in so the content aware fill has done its magic I will then just go in although I'm not going to in this tutorial I'll go in and just clone out a few of the errors that it's made here uh, but that's very easy to do and it's subject of another tutorial so we've gone from an image like this to an image like this and you can see it's a really subtle change, but I think it's really effective and makes it a much better image. It will be particularly effective on cityscapes, things like that, and other images that have straight lines. But like I said, it really is a great tool. Practice with it, give it a go on some of your images and see how useful it can be for you. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Please give it the thumbs up if you did, because I'd really appreciate that. If you are thinking of getting Lightroom and Photoshop, head down to the description now and you'll get that free trial. If you haven't done so yet, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's new videos going up on a Wednesday and on a Sunday, and I really think it can help you take your photography to the next level. I'll see you on another video very soon. I'm Adam. This is First Man Photography, out.